Hi guys, this is my May favorites video and I have a lot of favorites this month so I'm gonna have to go relatively quickly. So I'm gonna start with eyeshadows. Um, I've been loving four MAC eyeshadows this month. The first one is All That Glitters which is a Velux Pearl. It's just a really neutral, slightly pink toned champagne color and it's great for all over the lid and then as a base color and then you use a darker color in the crease so I've been loving that. Also, I've been loving Patina, which is this bronzy color with a bit of an um, olive undertone. And this is beautiful as an Oliver wash as well. Or you could pair it with um, all that glitters um, and use the Patina as the crease color, and they're really gorgeous together. And Patina is a frost. Next, I've been loving Woodwinked, which is another Velux Pearl. It's just this very warm toned bronze color. And on t more tan skin like I am now, it comes off a bit less orange, so it looks much more wear wearable when you're more tan. So I've been loving this just all over the lid or also as a crease color along with all that glitters as a base. And then another favorite is a new one from the pret -a papier collection and it's Gazette Grey, which is this grey color with gold and green shimmer in it. It's really gorgeous. And I'm wearing it right now in the crease, and I paired it with this color in my Dior Quad, the um, taupey color that I always mention. I have this all over the lid with Gazette Grey in the crease, and it's just a really nice combination. And I've also used Gazette Grey all over the lid um, as a daytime smoky eye with a bit of all that glitters in the inner half just to um, lighten it a little bit because it was in the daytime. And that also gave it a really nice dimension, um, having like a Velux Pearl on top of Gazette Grey, which is a velvet, so it's not as um, shimmery, and yeah, so they look really nice together. So that Dior color is um, a monthly favorite yet again. I've been wearing that a lot just as an all-over color, and it's gorgeous. Um, next is cheek products. Um, bronze I've been loving is my prestige Skin Loving Minerals in Rich Bronze. It's a nice medium um, bronzer. Um, it's slightly shimmery so it gives you a nice healthy glow. And then I have also been liking Too Faced Mocha Mi Amore which is sort of like a blush and a bronzer combined. It's like a plummy brown color. It's, a, it's like a lighter version of Benefit um, Benefit Dallas and this is really nice just on the cheeks or also in the three shape and down your nose and a bit on your chin if you want to make it more like a bronzer and it really warms up the face and makes you look really healthy um, and then another new one is Max Mineralized Blush in Light Over Dark which is also from the pret -a papier collection which looks like this and you can use the color separately so you can use the darker color as a bronzer and then the light color as a a highlight or you can swirl it together as sort of like a bronzer and blush combined again. This is quite dark so I would recommend using a light hand or if you're more tan then this would work well for you. Um, next, the blushes I've been loving this month. Um, the first one is Illamasqua Lover which is a bright peach color and it's gorgeous. It's a matte blush and it really gives you a really natural light flush to the cheeks. Um, Peach works really well with tan skin. I find that it's more natural, especially if you have a more yellow undertone to your skin like I do. It looks more natural than a pink blush. And then I've also been loving my um, NARS cream blushers in Cactus Flower, which I'm wearing today, but it's worn off a little. Um, just a tiny bit of it. It's the most natural blush if you buff it out a little with a Kabuki. And Penny Lane, which I'm sure you've all heard about, and I have demonstration videos of both of these um, cream blushes if you're interested in how I apply them. Next are lip products. Um, I've been loving my Revlon lip gloss, the new one of their new ones in the spring collection, which is Coral Reef. It's this bright coral color. And the texture of this is really nice. It's really smooth. It's not sticky. And it lasts um, a pretty long time for a lip gloss. And once it wears off, it leaves like a stain, a nice coral stain to your lips, so it's really lovely. And then next two are lipsticks. The first one is YSL um, Rouge Pure number 148, which is Tea Rose, which I mentioned before. It's just gorgeous. And I always, I've used quite a bit of it now. 
I always keep this in my handbag, so whatever um, lipstick I started off with, um, once that wears off, I always end up applying this one. So I, that's like still my favorite lipstick. And another one, which is a new one, is MAC Blankety, which is this sort of very natural nude color. It's almost like my lip color, but better. And it's sort of just like a pinky, it's like a nude with a mauve undertone slightly brown as well and it isn't amplified so it is very pigmented and very creamy okay I'm gonna move on oh I have one last eye product and that is the body shops eye definer which is basically their eyeliner and I have glowing amethyst which is this shimmery purple color it's gorgeous and I like smudging it under my lower lash line like under the black eyeliner if you can see and I find that it really um makes my eyes look bigger to have color under there and the purple gives a nice pop of color and it complements the grey taupe shades that I always love to wear so I love this and um, last cheek product is the Body Shop's Radiant Highlighter I have the one in pink and this is great because it's a cream highlighter so it keep, gives you that dewy look that you really want to have over, like during the summer months and um, a little bit goes a long way I just dab um, a bit there on the tops of my cheekbones and down my nose as well and this is really really nice okay so on to like other miscellaneous products for like tan related products I've been loving Dove Summer Glow this is my second one I finished the light to medium so I'm using medium to dark now and this one doesn't have shimmer in it which I love because I don't want to be all glittery when I go out um, in public so this is great um, I've been using this almost every night, if not every night, every other night, so yeah, great one. Um, and then I use this for my face, which is the Boots Sultan Gradually Golden Moisturizing Face Lotion. Um, so it's like this, it's really small, um, but you only need a really little bit because it is really thick and creamy, so um, you literally need just a pea size to cover your entire face and neck. And the thing is about this, the scent is quite, quite strong, so um, yeah, you're going to be able to smell it on your face the whole time, like while you sleep and stuff. But it does contain, it's really moisturizing, so that's good, and it contains um, vitamins A, C, E, and pro-vitamin B5, which is great for your skin. So I, I don't use this every night because it does tan your face quite quickly, so I use this probably twice a week. And as sunscreen, I've been using Sultan, the Boot Sultan as well. And it's the face sunscreen in SPF 25, which is the medium one. And it's slightly tinted. I don't know if you can see there. Um, I use this instead of a moisturizer when I use it. So I use this, and then I put my foundation over it um, maybe like 10 minutes after, just to give it some time to sink in. And um, it is quite moisturizing. That's why I use it in place of a moisturizer. I don't use it every day though, I use it only when it's sunny outside. If it's rainy or cloudy, I don't use sunscreen on my face because I feel like the SPF 10 in my foundation is enough. Um, I love my Philosophy Purity Cleanser. I ran out of my smaller bottle so I got the huge one. Still loving that. Um, Avon Thermal Water Soothing and Anti-Irritating Face Mist. Great for those hot hot, you know, sunny days when you come home and you feel really like like sweaty and just really really hot. This is great to spray over your face to refresh yourself and also great for setting your makeup instead of using a powder. And then lastly is my Batiste Color Dry Shampoo, the one for brunettes. It is tinted, I don't know if you can see, but what I do is when I don't need, re I don't re quite need to wash my hair yet um, and say it's night time and I'm planning to wash it the next morning I don't want to feel like really um, greasy so what I do is you have to shake it really well, I spray it into my roots um, and then I lift up sections of hair and spray my um, scalp flip my hair upside down as well and spray, spray the back and then what you do is just you rub it in with your fingertips and just sort of um, mess your hair up a bit so that the powder sort of distributes and yeah, so sorry I kind of rushed through that. I just had a load of um, favorites this month. Um, I'll put the names of all the products that I mentioned in the description box below. 
And yeah, I hope you guys liked it and I hope you guys have a lot of May favorites as well. If you want to leave your May favorites video as a video response, that would be awesome. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.